Hey gang, Scott here. All right, this mini series I'm doing on the masking tools we have in On One Photo Raw and On One Effects. We're getting into the tools now. The first one up, the AI Quick Mask. What the AI Quick Mask does is jumpstart your masking work and uses some artificial intelligence to figure out what to include and what to exclude. And you guide the AI Quick Mask through this process. It's a good tool to start with when you have larger areas of a photo that you want to apply something to and you know, relatively large areas that you don't want to, but those things are not um, clean shapes. It's not as simple as just using a gradient or it wouldn't be as easy to just use a paintbrush because maybe there's a lot of texture, a lot of differences in color and some of the other tools that we have like color range masks or if you're in photo raw detecting the sky. When that's not quite enough, you just have some very big areas to work your masks. Try out AI Quick Mask and I'm going to show you how it works here. In this photo here, let's say I want to add more detail to the flowers, but I don't want the rest of the scene, you know, the soft sky or the, the soft background. I don't want that detail to be enhanced. Uh, let's add a dynamic contrast filter and so we can see those details. Let's push that, let's push a little bit far so we can see the before and after. Before and after, we see a detail punch everywhere. I only want it on the flowers. And there are uh, some, some challenges like with uh, color range masks or sky detection. Sky would give me the blue. Color range, I might get the yellow of the flower and the, the, the golden yellows of the, the background. This is a good choice for the AI Quick Mask. So we'll go into our mask group, choose the AI Quick Mask. And how this tool works is it gives you a little pop-up explaining what to do. You've got two modes, keep and drop. And uh, I'll start with keep. Keep will paint uh, on the things I want included in the mask. I want the flower. I want the the stem of the of the flowers here. You know that. I want that. I want that. I want that. And then I can switch to drop. And I don't need the sky or this part or this part. Once you've got those painted on there, hit apply either in the pop up if you've got that open or in the toolbar. And the quick mask goes to work analyzing what you told it to do and gives you back a rough mask. And it happens pretty quickly. That, that's, that's done already. Didn't quite get it perfect. And that's usual. That's, that's, that's normal. The good news is we can go in and refine things. I'm still in the drop mode. It looks like uh, I need to do a little more work here. I can refine that and just say, okay, well, drop that part, drop that part. And let me give you extra guidance there, tool. Keep that stem and go ahead and apply that. Even better. There's last little bits here I can see in between. At this point, I'm happy with the quick mask. The point of the quick mask is to work quickly. Get me a, a mask that is a great starting point. I say I'm done here. Wonderful. And now I have that detail pop on just the flowers and I leveraged the quick mask to do that and I have access to all of the other masking tools if you need to do some cleanup you need to do some refinement like in this case if you watch the introductory video inside my masking area I've got a couple of other tools right I can view my mask and in this case I'd probably add a little bit of a feather just to soften the edges make sure I'm not doing anything too too crisp at those edges and uh, I can work the density too. So if I turn off the view and I back off the density some, I can introduce a little bit, some detail into the background. Notice that the mask and the swatch here, let me switch over to grayscale. You can see that it's no longer a black background, no detail enhancement. There's just some. So you're getting a taste for the quick mask, got me a pretty intricate mask, quickly, hence its name, and just with a couple of the other controls that are already available for every masking tool, I've got my detail pop on my flowers ready to go. And if I want to continue work on this, I can copy this mask and use it for other things like enhancing color, maybe opening up the exposure a little bit, making that flower the star of this particular photo. But this one, we're going to stop right here. AI quick mask, keep and drop modes, just paint some basic broad brush strokes over the things you want to 
have applied or keep in your mask, make white in your mask, and then drag some drop strokes over the things you want to be black to discard, to conceal in your mask. Hit apply, and if you need to, you can do a little bit of refinement. And do expect that you'll move on from quick mask to use a couple of the other masking tools and options to smooth things out and get it just right. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.